Yo, what is up, YouTube? I'm Blitz5, and I have an awesome class setup that I really think you guys should be using in Call of Duty World War II. So this gun is extremely overpowered with this setup. I've been posting insane gameplays. I played like five or six games in a row with this gun, and I got over 40 or 50 kills each game. Didn't die many times, and it just kind of shows how crazy it is. All my buddies started setting it up. Um, almost got a V2 rocket in it. Posted that video to my page recently, so check that out in the link in the description box below. I'll link to it. Anyways, let's get into this gun. So this is the Lewis rifle. It's the first heavy machine gun available in the game. And yes, it is that great. You guys should really check it out. It's pretty cool. I think that heavy machine guns are always undervalued in Call of Duty. And this game is no exception. I think they're really strong. But once you put some attachments on it, and what I'm doing in this class is putting four attachments on it, it gets ridiculously OP and is pretty much usable for any player, any kind of play style on a big map like Usof Cannon, on a small map like Flak Tower. You can pretty much abuse its strengths in many situations. So how do you get four attachments? If you don't already know how to do this, you you already start with two attachments and if you level up infantry, you get a third attachment spot. And then also if you use the perk prime, that gives you an additional attachment slot in itself. So having, you get two default ones, having infantry gives you three, having prime gives you four. And I kind of started doing this because I was using a lot of rifles and heavy machine guns that I didn't like. And to me, the attachments in this game are really strong on these weapons. You know, attachments aren't as strong when you use a weapon like a sniper rifle or a shotgun or some machine gun because you really just want, well, some machine gun, they can be strong. But on a sniper rifle or shotgun, you just want the calibration. You want like steady aim or rapid fire, you know, depending on shotgun or sniper. You really only need two of the attachments. You don't need extended mags all the time and stuff like that. So with the assault rifle and heavy machine gun, these perks really add a lot of additional impact when you have something like extended mags, you don't need to reload. If you have rapid fire, the time to kill goes up dramatically. If you have grip, then this increases your accuracy across the map. And having ACOG surprisingly works a lot. So normally in some Call of Duties, the ACOG isn't as beneficial because if the gun has a lot of recoil, the ACOG scope bounces up and down and it's really hard to get a kill. I, I always use ACOGs in video games. I've been a big fan. I mean, in the Call of Duty franchise, I'll put it on the sniper rifle. I'll put it on an assault rifle. I would even put it on like some some uh, some machine guns, I think, could have it in the old Call of Duties. And I would always do weird setups like that just for fun to try it out. But in this game, it actually does help a lot. You can see that I'm just using the ACOG to scope in and ensure that I'm kind of hitting people, even though I, I missed that guy right there. So it, it really helps the accuracy and I've noticed that in this game a lot of the recoil is actually left and right it's not just up and down so it kind of enables the ACOG to be more viable with a lot of weapons plus when you're not moving around a lot with the heavy machine gun you walk super slow if you kind of just head glitch or not really can't but hold down certain positions you can just zoom in with the ACOG and really pick people off so that is the first and foremost like most beneficial attachment I think for the heavy machine gun so you can aim and kind of snipe people here I was just being kind of rude and the guy kills me on the side so we have ACOG then the second most influential perk is grip because you really want to make sure that the the recoil is reduced a lot while you're firing across the map and it helps you kind of get headshots and just also you know just reduce the time to kill because you're not missing any bullets by it going over the person's head or you know moving around then the third most beneficial equipment in my opinion is going to be the extended mags because you don't want to reload i mean yes you could not put extended mags on and use hustle which gives you a faster reload time but then it just takes you out of the battle and with this extended mags you get 97 bullets and you can pretty much go for a long time you could get like six or seven kills without reloading so you can just run around the map and then you can eventually find a time when there's nobody around you to reload it only takes i think like five to seconds five to seven seconds around there to reload the lewis uh, machine gun what's crazy is even though i didn't kill that guy the lewis machine gun also has pretty good steady aim so you don't need to put on the steady aim perk a lot of times you can pick people off steady aiming from a reasonable distance also because if you have rapid fire on which is the fourth perk the fire rate is pretty fast and you're bound to hit them with some of the bullets um, as you're hip firing so let's just run over the perks one more time so to me in the order of importance we have the acog the grip extended mags and rapid fire and you could probably use one of the last three perks to switch 
to FMJ if you wanted to get more bullet puncture, but the heavy machine guns already have a pretty good, um, I feel like, penetration rate or ability through through most uh, material in the game, like boxes and kind of the small head glitch cans or whatever. Um, fortunately, that grenade got me there. Kind of going on a tear. So you could get rid of the grip, the extended bag, or the rapid fire, but I really think having all those three perks is worth it over the penetration. You, it's not really going to be beneficial in the long run to have that um, on the Lewis rifle. So anyways, you could really use this strategy on every heavy machine gun, but since the Lewis rifle got a buff recently, I think the move speed on all of the rifles was increased in the last patch and then also the recoil on the lewis and the mg15 was decreased so you could really tell when you're using this gun it's almost like a laser across the map and you can outshoot a lot of assault rifles well pretty much any assault rifle and then the accuracy as well the recoil is diminished and you can see here i'm just being extremely rude the enemy team we're playing against is pretty bad and i'm just standing here immediately picking people off you know i'm not in cover at all the time to kill is extremely fast it's super steady it's basically like using a sniper rifle. It's like using the carabin, but in heavy machine gun four with 97 rounds. So I think that's ultimately pretty insane. That guy eventually got me. But if I was head glitching there, if I was actually standing behind the wall, my head was popping out, that guy would have missed me and I would still be going on a large kill streak. So, and before, if you hadn't noticed, I skipped a little bit of the map. Domination maps, domination games now are pretty long. Sometimes they go over 10 minutes, so it makes the commentary I feel like longer than it needs to be. Moral of the story here is try out the Lewis or any heavy machine gun or try out some of the assault rifles, like the, the first assault rifle. I think it's the M1941 or whatever that first assault rifle is. Try using four attachments with these guns. Put on the ACOG, put on extended mags, put on rapid fire if you can, and then add on grip or, or whatever you prefer. But I would really try using those four first and see the difference how strong some of these weapons can become once you put on the four attachments. And honestly, some of the perks in this game aren't even that great, so I don't think we are wasting a perk going primed. And infantry class is probably the best division if you're trying to go for kills. It's really nice having that additional attachment being able to move faster when aiming down sights and the divisions unless you're you know going for points and you want armored and stuff like that or you want to run faster it's probably better off going infantry anyway so you're not really missing anything doing this and then obviously just put on a pistol and if you have extended mags on the pistol i think that's the way to go too so if you run out of ammo you're viable with the pistol Give this a try let me know what you guys think a lot of my buddies made this class and they all posted pretty good gameplay got the kill cam here just ripping people with a heavy machine gun so anyways thank you all for watching as always i'm blitz5 and peace out